phone's ringing. Ring, 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 ring. I just went brain dead again. Hello. How are you? Hey, this is Judy with the Fan for Chef. I am so excited. I called to let you know there are some incredible things going on in our company right now. And I thought of you because the last time we were together, I know you had your eye on that deep cover baker. It just wasn't the right time. You're going to be so glad you waited because in the month of March, we have amazing things going on. You know, I have a personal goal to add eight shows this month. I've only got three dates left, and there's no one I'd rather save one of those dates for. Let's do it. I don't know. I just have a lot going on. You know, I have a new baby. Oh, yeah, I'm really I forgot about the new baby. How old is she? Two months. Oh, my gosh. You know, that's exactly the reason why you should have a show. How much fun would it be to get your girlfriends together? Just have a girl's night out. You can have the baby there, or you can send the baby off with dad. But a girl's night out sounds like fun. Why and cheese and chocolate? Who could say no to that? You. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to come out of roll, okay? And I want to kind of go back. And I want to break this down for you, okay? The, the script always sounds the same way, okay? It starts off with, hi, this is Judy with the camp. Well, you're going to say your name, but. Hi. <laughs> hey, hi, this is Judy with the Pampered Chef. I am so excited. And you've got to say it with energy and excitement. Hey, this is Judy with the Pampered Chef. I am so excited. There are some incredible things going on in our company right now, and I thought of you because. Question, are there always <laughs> incredible things going on in our company? Oh, yes. yes. So can you not do this any month of the year? Of course you can. I thought of you because. Now, this next piece is that you have to teach your team to how to relate with that person, how to make it personal, okay? So I knew she had her eye on the deep covered baker. Maybe I could say, I know that you are a camper chip junkie and love stoneware. Well, in the month of March, we have incredible offers for our hosts, and you could add to your stoneware collection. Could be just as simple as that. But I want to relate to her, okay? And my favorite line is always, you're going to be so glad you made it. It's a different way of going about it, right? Because people always said, how do I call her? She said no to me three times already. So stop focusing on the negative and focus on the positive. You can good. be so glad you waited because there's incredible things going on right now. Everybody with me? Yes. yes. Okay. So then I'm, I believe in sharing the goal. You know what? I have a personal goal to add eight shows into the month. I only have three days left. Now, if you're not comfortable with sharing the personal goal, you can just skip that first part and say, I only have three days left this month. And I'd love to save one for you and your friends. Okay? Now, after you do that, you have to teach them, teach your team, and I want you guys to notice that I didn't ask her to have the show. What did I do? Assumed. I assumed she would, and I made a statement. Okay, making a statement is a skill. It's one of those skills as a, a leader that you need to teach yourself. Because the fact is, is that it's natural for us to ask questions because we grew up being taught to ask questions in school. If you don't know, ask. If you don't know, ask. Get to ask. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with asking questions, but in sales, the technique of making statements really is a more successful technique. So I'm going to say to her, I would love to save one of those dates for you and your friends. And then you shut up and you stop talking. And yes, there will be an awkward silence. And remember, he who talks first loses. <laughs> I don't really mean it that way, but you get what I mean. Don't talk. Let her talk. Because chances are she's either going to say okay, or she's going to give you the reason why she can't. And then you have to overcome the objection. Okay, or the, the, the concern, whatever it might be. And in my mind, the way to go after that, the easiest way to teach your team to go after that and to you to go after that are the three magic words, feel, felt, and found. Mm -hmm. And yes, I know that's very 1980s, but it worked then, it will work now. <laughs> feel, felt, found. You know what? I know exactly how you feel. So, you know, well, I do just have a baby, but, but just kind of go after that. I went after it a different way when she said she had a new baby. I went, oh my goodness, that's so incredible. I remember you were pregnant, blah, blah, blah. Because I don't know how long ago I'd seen her to call her back, so whatever. And then I say, that's exactly why you want to have a show. Because the number one thing they say is, I'm too busy. My answer to that is always the same. That's exactly why you want to have a show. You deserve a night out with your girlfriends. Let's put our heads together and pick a night that'll work. Wine, cheese, and chocolate. Who could say no to that? Wine, cheese, and chocolate was my shit forever. <laughs> you know what? 
but you can always make that work. Things, you know, and if they're not drinkers, that's okay. They can have, you know, sparkling grape juice if they want. They can serve lemonade if they want. Okay, so so if that's not going to be, if that doesn't work, then to figure to something that will. Mm -hmm. What will work to, that'll make her? Just say cheese and chocolate. All right. So, everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's your script. It's just that simple. Does anybody have questions about the script? It can be done any time of year. You have to master it. It has to roll off your tongue the way it rolls off mine. Mm -hmm. And you have to use the same one over and over and over again. You gotta stop teaching your consultant five different ways to ask the same thing. Be consistent. Be consistent. Mm -hmm. and, and they'll learn it and they'll do it and they'll have results. Okay, so now you can put those away unless you want to keep them out. Because I'm really getting all freaked out right now. <laughs>